Hi guys, welcome back. So today I am doing a uh, mascara routine video and I just wanted, you know, to kind of give you like my tips on how I do my mascara and stuff. And I'm also featuring two of my favorites right now. It's the Light Cam Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte and the Full Lash Bloom by CoverGirl. These are really, really good mascaras. I highly recommend them. And um, also I recommend the... L'Oreal Carbon Black Mascara, that's really good, and the Jordana Best Lash, Best Lash Extreme is very good also, and it's very, very budget friendly, so, um, definitely recommend that. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna get into it, because it's kind of a long video, so I don't want to keep you waiting all, you know, yeah. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy and find this helpful, um, Leave comments down below for video suggestions. I do want to still film the my Holy Grail products video, but I need to repurchase something that I want in the video. Um, so that's kind of like taking up some time, but um, for me filming it, yeah. Anyway, you know what I mean. I hope. Um, so yeah, I will talk to you guys later, and I hope you have a great day. And thank you so much for watching. So the first thing you're going to want to do is definitely take a good eyelash curler. This one is just from Sephora. Um, and curl your lashes, squeeze them down. I already did mine, so I'm not going to do it again. Um, but just, you know, get your lashes in there, squeeze it down, pump it a little bit if you must. Um, I usually just squeeze mine, and that usually works pretty well for me. But, I mean, you'll find whatever technique works for you. Like, you could even move them up a little bit towards the tip of your lashes and squeeze and then move them up more and squeeze um, that works for some people as well just to give it a, a more of a curl but uh, I find that I don't really need that so I don't take those extra steps but um, yeah okay so I'm gonna use the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara this is just a little sample size um, it's not focusing there we go um, yeah, I I don't know what my favorite mascara is anymore because this one has done an amazing job with my lashes and I just, I'm so confused. I've never, I, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just, we're going to start with this eye on, with this mascara and then on this eye we're going to switch to a different mascara. But what I like to do mostly is just start from, I'll demo it. This is what the wand looks like, by the way really nice um, just start at the tip or the base I mean and just kind of wiggle it in there and try to just get all the lashes and then I also like to move it in the opposite direction of the growth so that it really gets in the bristles and gets really coated with mascara well a lot of them you know what I mean so especially on the end I just like to move it that way and then obviously comb it back out this is such a good mascara and then fan it and obviously brush it to the way that it does grow and try to get in there and then I use like the tip of the mascara wand to really deposit more mascara and then it just kind of fans it out even more And then I always start from the outside and then work my way in. And just kind of wiggle it at the tip too and really get it in between those bristles so that it really just gets coated with a lot of mascara. And then don't worry about the mascara that gets on the lid. We'll take care of that in a second. Just let it dry there for now. I know it's hard and I know it like can bug you because it bugs me, but trust me, just let it dry there. It'll be so much easier to remove. And I kind of also close my eyes and just work the wand upward and then that really helps to get a lot of mascara, oh my hair, a lot of mascara deposited on your lashes too. See, this mascara is so good at separating and giving you so much volume, it's amazing. And 
obviously if you're not wearing eyeliner or anything like I'm not right now um, it's gonna make your lashes look a lot longer if you have eyeliner on it's gonna make the base one look thicker so it's gonna make it look like you have thicker lashes but I mean if you with this mascara it just shows off length and volume so like I don't really think it's necessary if you don't want to wear mascara um, but yeah just look at that for the bottom it's just the same thing just start at the root wiggle it in there and move it down and you can also take something like a business card and place it let me see let me get situated here place it underneath your lashes so that you can really coat each individual lash and it'll make oh I'm not in focus I'm sorry so you can also get underneath the lashes and kind of pull them out I mean I know this is like more of a spidery lash look but I'm just showing you how to get really, really, really long lashes. My dog is bugging me. <laughs> but yeah. And then I just wanted to show you guys the other mascara that I love. is the Full Lash Bloom by CoverGirl. This is really good stuff. This is a brand new one. And it starts off pretty dry of a formula, which is what I like. So like I said, just move this way in the opposite direction of the lash growth really wiggle it at the base of the lashes and then now for the lower lashes normally I don't do my lower lashes so I don't really like how it looks on me but if you're if it looks good on you and you're into that, I'm just showing you for video's sake. But yeah, I, mostly it's just starting at the base and wiggling outward. I think I'm, I think I'm liking the Tarte one better on this eye. Um, I think it just does more for my lashes. So now you just want to take a Q-tip and wipe off the mascara that has dried. It should come off pretty easily once it's dried without smudging and stuff so that's why I said to wait because if you do it while it's wet it's definitely gonna smear see I think m both mascaras work great but now seeing them side by side I definitely like what the lights camera lashes does for me better um, but, I mean, this one's really good, too. If you're not into something as dramatic as this, I would definitely go for the Full Lash Bloom by CoverGirl. Um, I don't know how this turned into, like, a mascara comparison, but, yeah, I mean, you could see for yourself which one you like better. I definitely am digging this side. 